State of the Real Estate Market in July of 2023. I'm Brian Kattenbach and this is another episode of my uh, real estate tips from my car. Um, uh, the numbers for the month of July, I had it in my hand, analyze it. Uh, we are putting it into a stand up on the board type of uh, analysis. But before that, as I'm doing it every morning, I give some updates on the numbers are basically in terms of the inventory we always talk about two things the demand which is number of sold unit and the other point is the supply which is the number of homes that comes for for sale and this the balance between the demand and supply is economy 101 that's what uh, that's what um, dictates every price anything in any market um, now we, we always look at the both side of it and then it seems to me that in past two months since the Fed start uh, talking about uh, interest rate increase as well, some buyers have um, become more cautious and um, they stay on the sideline and some sellers who were planning to sell later on, they came in to sell. So we see from end of May or June 1st, end of July, the inventory has gone up about 35, 36%. So we had about 1,000 homes for sale on the supply side. And as of yesterday, it was 1,400. So you can see close to 40% give or take. And um, on the on the on the uh, on the demand side, uh, for the month of May, we had like 844 sales. Anyway, somewhere in mid 800. And as of yesterday, I believe we were under 500. And the last month was 640. So we see a, a gradual decline in terms of the the sale. Now. Part of it is because of seasonality. People don't believe us, but I tell you, July and especially August is one of the slowest months because people go on vacation. Uh, people realize there's only one month of summer left. Kids go back to school in uh, in September. So they, they just put buying a home or moving aside and then uh, they want to enjoy the summer and the nice weather we have. Uh, I don't know how much of that is related to that. In past three years, because of pandemic, Things have been shifted, but July has been the July and August has been the August. July and August are some of the slower months or maybe lull months, so there's less activities. However, in those days before pandemic, when the demand went down during July and August, supply also went down at the same time. At this time is a bit different because the supply gone up a, a little bit and we are almost back to the same number same number that we had for July of 2022 and we all know July August 2022 was pretty slow market uh, however things are still happening but if you were looking for some um, um, move from smaller homes like let's say town home apartments or town home condo to a semi detached and detached this market represents a lot better opportunity for you than a last year's market or year before when everything was hot. Because when everything was hot, yeah, you were getting multiple offers for your home, but you were paying a lot more for the other ones to jump in. So this gap was huge. Yes, it was a lower interest rate, but huge. Now when you go for renewal, you go back to a high interest rate. However, this gap has narrowed a lot. If you are planning to jump from an uh, from an apartment to a semi-detached, a freehold, this gap narrowed a lot. I understand you pay a little bit more interest rates. However, your payment, your monthly payment almost stays the same. I've been telling everybody, if you were thinking of jumping into a bigger home, get rid of your maintenance fee, ditch your maintenance fee and go to a freehold, this is the time, this is the best time. Because you can take a short term interest rate, in a couple of years interest rates will come down, but you save two to three hundred thousand dollars in this gap, and an interest rate will come down, so you'll be laughing. Interest rate fluctuates, goes up and down. But the saving of two, three hundred thousand to move into a detached home, it's gonna be permanent in your pocket. Trust me, we've done the math, we are a real estate consultant. Let me know. I can do the calculation for you. I can do the diagnostic. I can show you exactly what you could do to get rid of that damn maintenance fee, ditch your maintenance fee, and move into a, a detached home it, uh, with no stress because this market, you have choices. You can get the best price for your uh, condo or town home because those are still on demand. And then you move into something nicer, 
We are a real estate consultant. Call me or text me at 647-848-2652. Or you can email us, DM us, any way you like. And by the way, if you like what we put out here, we put out a lot of good information about real estate. Real estate is our life from morning to midnight every day. Uh, you just subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification. We'll let you know when real good information are coming up. All right, until tomorrow, have a fantastic day and look forward for my official report, which has come later on today when I put numbers on the, on the screen and I tell you the full analysis in a very statistical way, okay? Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay tuned.